Okay, so today we are going to learn about the function in SQL. So the function is nothing but basically it is a function that returns first element of a list and produces a known list result. So uh, we are going to see a practical example. So don't bother about the first statement. If you don't understand it, we'll learn it through a practical example and then you can picturize what is happening behind the scenes. The syntax will be we'll write the and inside the we'll write a list expression and this this list expression must be a select statement. For example, suppose from a tree you are selecting something using this select statement. So you can use the function like that. Right. And it is useful only when you expect only one result out of your select statement. So let's go ahead and uh, see a practical example to understand it better. Okay, so in order uh, to have this explained, I have created this simple message flow which contains MQ input, compute and uh, MQ output. So let's move inside the compute node. So I have a XML message basically this XML message which it uh, tells you about uh, some uh, book items right so there are two items present inside that one items contains one book other item contains other book so this message uh, we are going to use and I have uh, like created uh, I mean I have written this is equal to select uh, something from this this tree so first let me go like this so I have basically wrote down two lines of code one with the function one without the function so that we can easily understand the difference so let's get back to the definition the function returns first element of the list the function returns first element from this list meaning that the result will be this item only only first element this list contains two elements right but the function will give us only result of this item and produces a known list result and whatever it is giving us it will be stored in this which is a known list type unlike this here we have provided a list right wherever you see these opening and closing square braces then this is a list kind of reference so here I mean the the function always returns a no, uh, so something which uh, should be stored in a known list kind of reference right so we have justified the definition like the function returns first element of the list and produces a known list result. See, if I try to, you know, provide a list here and I try to deploy my bar file, it will give me an error. See, this is giving me an error. Uh, see, illegal data type for a target in known list field reference is required. Right. So we have justified that the function always returns something which requires a, which re, which is required to be stored in a known list kind of reference okay so let me go ahead and deploy this and see the results let me launch the debugger so that we can easily see in debugger mode what is happening so on my input queue let me put the same message so that my flow is triggered okay so let's move inside the compute node execute this line execute another line let's expand this window and see the result see one this 
in environment this thing contains the result with the, the function this thing contain the result without the function i have used it like this so that it is easily understand understandable okay so this now expand this the function see it is giving me only first first result right what my definition says the function returns first element of the list so it is giving me result i mean it is giving me only first result now expand this with the one which is executed without the function it is giving me all the results right there are two results present in my message so the function is giving me only first result and without the function if i execute uh, code without the function then it is giving me all the results right so this is basically the difference uh, i mean uh, it makes when we use the function so we have justified the definition of the function we have seen a practical example like what is the difference if we use the function now last point is it is useful when select query is required to return no more than one value right so in in cases where we expect from select statement only one value uh, i mean only one result then we should i mean use the function because uh, if you if we don't use it then we, i mean unnecessarily we have to provide a field kind of reference right for example suppose i am giving some where condition where suppose author right apply the same here save it Okay, so it it's where as t where save it now deploy it okay now let's launch the debugger and see the result. okay so i am going to launch the debugger now see let's execute this line see i am getting in environment let's execute other one also and see see in both the cases it will give me the result where author is Betty Miller, right? So let's expand and see. See, both the things are giving me same result because I have applied a where where condition here, right? But uh, see, we are expecting only one result, so we should use. Uh, I mean, we may use the statement because it requires. Uh, I mean, these values are required to be stored in a non list kind of reference if we use the variable so unnecessarily we are avoiding creating a list kind of reference so this is the difference that it makes okay so if we don't use the uh, function then uh, the values even if select statement is giving me one result it always you know expected to be stored in a list kind of reference See, if i remove this list from here now and i try to deploy it it will give me an error see let's see what the error is 
there is illegal data type for target a list field reference is required right so this is the use of the function in eSQL okay so and uh, this is also one of uh, the common interview questions for IIB so please keep this thing in mind and thanks for watching this video